Hi, in the next few minutes, we'll take a look at some of the highlights in the new UFT Mobile release. First up, manual exploratory testing. Take your testing up a notch with some great new features when recording tests. During your exploratory test, you can manually add steps to the list, delete steps, and remove a screenshot for a step. You can also record tests on Amazon Device Farm devices. When you record a manual or exploratory test, you can now submit a defect directly to ALM Octane. The test steps and device details are automatically added to the description with the device log and screenshots. During manual testing, you can hear audio from a remote iOS device on your PC. Is your business struggling to build and maintain automated test assets that can adapt to today's rapid pace of change? Helpful for testing functionality that requires audio validation. You can record and replay Android and iOS apps built using the Google Flutter SDK. We've introduced support for LDAP groups for centralized, more efficient user management. Instead of having to manage the permissions of each user separately, you can give an entire group access to specific devices and applications by assigning the group to one or more workspaces. When members of the group log into UFT Mobile, they're automatically added to the list of users, if they aren't already there, and assigned to the corresponding workspaces. To make lab management more convenient for you, we've moved the user management options to the management tab, so that actions for managing the lab are now all in one place. The administrator can set the maximum duration of connector and execution keys according to the organization's security policies. If defined, you'll need to set an expiration date within the allowed time period when generating a new key. UFT Mobile 3.5 also includes improved performance for large-scale deployments, Appium 1.18.3 support, and more. Check out the Help Center to learn more and enjoy the new UFT Mobile release.